Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about um, how to get information out of the PLC via Modbus TCP protocol. And we will be using Visual Basic for applications to do this in an Excel spreadsheet. Now the first thing we need to do is actually put in the Winsock component. And this is the component that will um, do all of our API communications in order to um, grab or open a port and grab information off the Ethernet connection. So what we're going to use is Ostrosoft Winsock component and what you'll do is come down here and you'll see this oswinsck.exe file. This is the file that is used for the VBA. You download that and install it. Next, what we'll do is create a program. And I have a sample program up here. I have uh, MHR1 to MHR10, so Modbus holding registers. Um, and what we'll do is we'll put a value in there between 0 and 400, or 0, 4096 for the analog. And what I, what I have here is a, just an individual counter bit. I have a one second pulse bit that's actually incrementing the first register. And then I compare that register, and if it's greater, greater than or equal to 4,000, I will reset it or put zero back in it. Unless uh, input zero is on, then it just moves the uh, WXO register directly into uh, the first register. This way I can control using the simulator. I can put, uh, I can put this on. We'll see the output comes on. And now the simulator here will actually control um, my number here in my first register and you can see it up here too. So this way we'll simulate uh, doing a couple of things when we're actually communicating to the PLC. So what we'll do is call up our Excel spreadsheet. In our Excel spreadsheet you'll see uh, I've labeled a few things out here right now. And you'll notice this IP address. That's actually the address that we need to um, put in in order for it to communicate to the device, or in our case, the simulator. The address is 192.168.18. Now, when you call up the simulator, it actually assigns it already. So if you go back to the Do More Designer, under the system configuration, the address is located right here. Now, if this is the actual controller, you would just configure that to the address that you have. The other important thing is to make sure that the Modbus TCP server is actually enabled and the default COM port is 502. So going back to um, the Excel spreadsheet, if we go to the developer tab, then to Visual Basic, and here is the Visual Basic code to grab the information out. And you'll notice there's some references in the code to get that Winsock component. And to actually add the Winsock component into your, your project, you go to Tools and Reference, and it's located right here. And you just check that and hit OK. Now that'll be part of your Winsock reference. So the basic functionality, I'm going to hit retrieve, it will turn into a green and then it will start communicating to the, um, through Modbus TCP protocol to the controller, grab the information and bring it back and place it into these areas here. And then the graph will automatically show. So once I do that, hit retrieve and you see the values are now incrementing and decrementing. Now, I'll call up simulator. And as you can see, if I turn on the first output, and we can actually control that, you can see the response is quite, quite good. And we could uh, release that back 
and then it will increment by one. And you can see that incrementing. So as you can see, implementing the Modbus TCP protocol is not really a, uh, uh, a difficult task at all. And you can see that you can manipulate things around and um, it's not a, a large issue or a large investment of time to do that. And you can get some good information. Okay, all the links and further detailed information of how to do this is on our website, www www.accautomation.ca I want to thank you for watching.